Indeed. Another stock we're watching, uh, Vietnamese EV yeah. maker VinFast. <clears throat> Those shares sinking this morning. This just a day after the company's market debut saw shares skyrocket up more than 200%. So put that in perspective. It's not <clears throat> a big job, drop. Now, VinFast CEO Tui Le joined our 3 p.m. show yesterday. She spoke with our own Akiko Fujita about the automaker's plan to reach profitability by 2025. Take a listen. So far, um, our shareholders have invested almost $10 billion into the company. Uh, we got the commitment of uh, $2.5 billion more from Vin Group and our chairman. Um, and we have made significant investment uh, in the company in order to uh, get to the whole lineup of vehicles that we have the uh, facility in Vietnam, now the facility, the manufacturing facility here in North Carolina. Um, so we believe that uh, with all the investments and the strategy that we have pursued, uh, we, we are on the right path. All right. Yeah. I mean, we know that that stock saw a big jump yesterday and mm -hmm. the way they came to market was a spec. I yeah. mean, they had put off IPO plans, previous IPO plans. So they came to market in a different way. I mean, it was a huge debut, especially when you compare it to other automakers in general. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, their market cap was outstripping, uh, you know, players like a Ford or, you know, who's been in autos for eons. But again, obviously, this is an EV play. We know they they have uh, four models in production, two more on the way. So um, Vin, VinFast, despite today's, you know, cooling, s saw a huge debut. Yeah, one of the things that's really been where investors perhaps have placed some of that intention, uh, or attention to, even coming into this SPAC and the, the DSPAC process that took place, mm -hmm. I believe it was um, Black Spade Acquisition Company uh, that they had this combination with in order to effectively go through that DSPAC. They've delivered close to 19,000 EVs uh, across some of their models as of June 30th, 2023, VinFast has. Additionally, the charging network, it spans across 63 cities and provinces. They plan to expand that further in the coming years, they mentioned. They've also got a retail company-owned retail and service network of over over 122 VinFast stores worldwide. And so even in their go-to-market strategy, going to be uh, amazingly critical for investors to watch where in relation to the other network yeah. um, uh, investment and scaling up for charging for even that delivery mechanism and, and, exactly. and just taking on new customer orders uh, where they're able to build out that manufacturing facility uh, as well. They were able to put a new manufacturing facility, broke ground on that mm. in the U.S. as of July 28th this year. Yeah, and I mean, just think about just how new this company is. It's yeah. a young company. They just started producing EVs in 2021. So it will certainly be about the delivery timeline, mm -hmm. and we've seen that affect other EV makers. Uh, and if they don't deliver on those deliveries, there will be fallout, yeah. obviously.